Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well Microsoft and Intel have officially confirmed downfall. Downfall is the Intel CPU's f security flaw that was discovered and that could be exploited by hackers. Now some of you will might find it difficult to update or find this information. The first thing I want to say is even if you don't patch your CPU, the mitigation in all of it makes it difficult to exploit. So you're not really, you know, unsafe by keeping it there. It's just that if for some reason you would be, probably get ransomware or malware, then it could be a multiple attack thing because it could also use the flaw from the Intel CPU. But Honestly, um, that would mean that you're anyways already infected by something and it's already complicated. So if you have no idea how to do this, don't you know go crazy. You can ask somebody that knows how to do it if you want to verify. So if you have an Intel CPU of 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, or 11th generation, and you can check that out by going to right-clicking your... Uh, Start button and going to the task manager. And here you'll see what processor you have. If you have an AMD processor, this video is not for you. If your processor is an Intel, Intel Core, Intel, you know, whatever, uh, i3, i5, i7, i9, um, the number next to it tells you what generation. Here is 8259. The 8 tells me it's an 8th generation CPU. So anything that starts with 7000. 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000. So these are 7th to 11th gen CPUs. They are all vulnerable to this attack. And so they have officially um, updated the microcode for this. Now, how do you get the microcode? Um, part is through Windows Update. So some machines, when you go to Windows Updates, you might see something that is a firmware type update for the system in either the updates directly or in the um, optional updates for your system. If you see something that is the fir a firmware update um, and could have a strange name sometimes because it could be dependent on your manufacturer, this probably is the microcode that you need. Um, you might have an Intel system update, driver update, that could contain a microcode also. But the uh, in, in many cases, you will need to go to the manufacturer of your computer, find its model number, find all the details on it and the drivers and the updates, and look for a UEFI BIOS update that will also contain my, the microcode update for your system. Technically, most should have that. It could take some time for some systems or some older machines to show up maybe in some of the updates, but for, I would say, a big majority of people, it probably will come through the Windows update. But if, it's, if not, you can check out the manufacturer for your computer uh, for updates to uh, check it out and you'll be able to um, of course make sure that at the same time it updates the vulnerability to your system uh, for the CPU but once again you know it's not a a tragic flaw that you know if you don't patch it you're automatically gonna get malware stuff like that it doesn't work like that really but if you're the type that wants to stay safe keep safe uh, you can always check for updates, either through Windows Update or through your manufacturer's updates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.